better. More of that is what's required. That is a bad delivery, wide outside off stump, and smashed away into the fence. Well, that's over the top, and uh, there's no problems there. That's into the fence for four. So having played themselves in, these guys now are beginning to cut loose. Larkins in particular. Oh, he's got him, he's out, caught behind, big nick there. Don't worry about that, just when he was beginning to look dangerous, what does he do? He plays down the wrong line, gets a nick, and through to the keeper it goes. Frustration on the face of Gooch down the other end. That's the end of Larkins. And what a pity for England. He'd done the hard work, had a look for 10 overs, and that little delivery, not doing a lot, just ever so much away. And again, disappointment for Larkins. England opening pair, a split. New Zealand get their first wicket. Petrie does the damage. Larkins out for 15. England one for 27. Well, that's a good shot. Straight down the ground is a strong man. Into the fence it goes. And four runs scored there. Wide-eyed he was, that's for sure. So that's the end of the over. One for 32. safe well, that's a good blow from uh, Graham Gooch and I would suspect that's probably his first real test on that hand yes I would think so that's a very confident positive shot for the batsman to do that he's always been a powerful player he gets forward it's through the ball I don't like the way he's hitting it a little bit on side I like to see him hit it a bit straighter. That was his old fault when Alderman got him out two years ago, kept hitting across the ball to the onside. Well, you never know, that might be uh, the change of luck Robin Smith needs. He has been out of sorts just the last couple of weeks. The ball hasn't been going off the middle of the bat after that brilliancy show down in the Australian 11 game. Well, played his favourite square cut, gets a French cut instead. But the same result, four streaky runs for it. His footwork seems all shot to pieces, but he looks to me as though he's just getting it back out there. Just one or two good strokes, but the secret of it all is the footwork. Last few times he's battered, it seems to me, hasn't been sure where his feet are, he's been falling across the crease well the footwork's good here he's looking to come forward but no pace in Harris's bowling when it's short of a length he quickly rocks back and pulls it away with a lot of pace on the ball he really hit it hard dear oh dear there's a good chance for New Zealand there quick single by Smith but I feel as a feeler picked it up cleanly and thrown Just outside off stump there. Well, that's a good shout by Willie Watson. Graham Gooch playing across the ball. You can see, just playing it to mid on all the time. Foot never quite got forward. We could keep her standing up, Brian Young. That's a dangerous ploy, I feel, in a one day game. Possibility of leg buys or buys. Maybe looking for a stumping, trying to keep Gooch back in behind the popping crease. It's well struck. Racing out towards the cover boundary, and that's a glorious strike. The one thing that uh, Chris Harris has got to do, he's got to develop the leg cutter. Dropped. Well, that was struck very firmly. Martin Crow, perhaps the best fieldsman in the New Zealand camp, fielded superbly throughout this series. Long way from the pitch of the ball. Those ones either stick or they don't. It's out in the air. He's gone for it. There's a man that is coming in. He should catch this. He doesn't. Dear, oh dear. Tried to play it too safe, Danny Morrison. Tried to take it in the belly, and that is a sitter. Frustration for the New Zealand bowler who contained Smith and then he drops a catch like that. 
Well, a couple of bad let offs in quick succession. First to Crow and now to Danny Morrison. Well, that's the same approach as trying to catch a bomb in a rugby match. Look at this. Pushes the navel out. Wasn't sure whether to take it on the tummy or the chest. Ball goes through the hands, hits the rib cage, and falls safely to the ground. So Robin Smith having a couple of lives. Really, uh, this is a dreadful miss. You would really uh, lay down the law if a schoolboy dropped this one. That's everything that you should not do. This time he's gone over. Well, oh, that's four. It's a cruel blow for Chris Harris. It's one for 91. And he's gone, trying to hit him out the ground. Harris, that's a just reward for good effort. He's been persistent, frustrated the batsman, 2 for 99. It's heartbreaking the previous over from Harris. And Smith dropped. There's no need to play that sort of shot at this stage of the game. It's been slow going. You don't necessarily have to try and hit the ball out of the park. I know it's a small ground. Graham Gooch on reflection watches this on replay. He'll be disappointed. Form building 48, England a 2 for 99. Dropped. I would say from the reaction of the bowler, there was certainly a noise there. It's amazing how little sympathy bowlers offer to wicket keepers when this sort of thing happens. Normally it's, hello Fred, nice to see you Charlie, but now they just put their hands on top of their heads and mutter. Robin Smith having a bit of good fortune and maybe this is just the break that he needed to get back into form. Oh, trouble here. Lamb is the man. In fact, well run. No, he's been beaten. I thought for a moment that he'd made it. He really scooted, but uh, that's an indication of why they should have been running too, because Lamb, after all the hesitation, very nearly got home. I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, Ian. I would not have believed it. There's the stroke. There's the near field, the man diving away. Now, Latham. Oh, dear. The wicket keeper has to go some two or three yards down the pitch. There he goes now. Hello, Brian. Beautiful delivery. Danny Morris is, Morrison has jammed a couple up in the block hole. He's got the little outswinger going. And that one right through Robin Smith. He's a hard-working bowler, Danny Morrison, and a good one. He's bowled well in this series so far. I reckon that was footwork again. Well, yeah. He got the foot into the position, then moved it out. Moved his leg away from the ball. And that's been Robin Smith's problem in recent times. The footwork, it's uh, just not quite gelling. Four for 122. Oh, that's well taken down the leg side off the thigh pad. And uh, the batsman there indicating that it was off the thigh pad. That's a very, very nervous Stuart. He's had a few big appeals off that thigh pad. Well, quite clearly here you can see the ball go onto the thigh pad. We keep a shout. Really, no doubt about that. That's gone, caught behind, again, exactly the same shot played earlier by Larkins. It's played now by John Morris, that ball wide outside off stump, just a little flirt there, a big edge through to the keeper, and just when he was beginning to look dangerous as well, he's out too. Yeah, well, it just swings on him. John Morris trying to run it down to third man, but it swings. Most of the New Zealand bowlers have swung the ball and caused England a lot of problems with the swing through the air which has now left England with Morris out for 16. He's left England at 5 for 143. 
in the new year. Oh, he's hit the stumps and he's given him. Yes, he had to hit the direct and that's it. Hit the stumps and as a result of that, once again, England have another run out to contend with. These run outs are getting embarrassing. Well, Chris Lewis stopped here. He wasn't really backing up. He didn't really want to come and then he sets off late. And that late cost him a yard and cost him his wicket. No doubt there, umpire very clear and decisive in a great position. England now six for 149. Oh, he's dropped it. Straight forward catch there to John Wright, and he has dropped it. Just a little bit tense, and he's very upset with that. He should have caught this. Oh, this is a dreadful let off. Well, he's sliced off the outside face straight to John Wright was usually an excellent safe catcher. And Philip de Freitas was lucky. He nearly had the puffing duck behind his name. Meanwhile, up on the hill, the folks are getting a little bit excited. Oh, that's a good shot by Stewart. He's got that one away. And again, great fielding. No, it's not. It into the fence it goes. Oh, well, that one running away. From Danny Morrison, it was a tremendous effort by him. He went diving away to his right, managed to get his arm to the ball, but didn't manage to stop the floor. Great effort by Danny Morrison. Lovely diving effort. Deserved to save some runs there. It just goes into the fence. Well ball. Good out swinger. Yes, he's had a nice out swinger going uh, virtually all day, Richard Petrie. That is a beauty. Save those up for the top order batsmen. They're the ones who uh, might edge those. Well, the key for England now is Alex Stewart. He's been an improver on this tour. He's 27. He's only playing his 17th one day international. It's a full toss and he could be out. He's in straight down Latham's throat and he drops it. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that's the second catch off Pringle. Straightforward catch has been dropped here at the Gabba. That was an absolute sitter. Rod Latham is the offender on this occasion and that really should have been taken. And uh, I really do prefer. Whipped away square that may find a boundary. That's what England needs. Creeping towards 200. It's well played and the race away for four. Intelligent batting by Defreitas. Brings up a boundary. 11 off the over, six for 185. The freight is on strike. He rips that from off stump down to the final leg boundary. That's beautifully fine. Speaking of improvis improvisation, this is seen. It's seen here at its best. The freightist waits until the last second so that the bowler doesn't see which way he's going, and uh, played that beautifully. He's clubbed that, and he beats mid on. That's racing away for four more. Three balls remaining for England and De Freitas. Wasn't the best of efforts at mid on. It was a good slower ball uh, by Morrison and aimed at leg stump. And it really wasn't uh, the best of attempts to try and block that ball. It's up in the air. The keeper's running back with a fire to the ball. It's going to be a difficult one. Ball safely, and he picks up two. 200 for England. Six for 201. Great diving attempt there from Brian Young, but unfortunately for him, he then sort of the ball rolled under his body and Petrie uh, couldn't get at it. 
So they were able to get back for the second. Freitas will be beat right. Just the single. So one ball remaining for England. And a very good effort by Philip de Freitas at the end. So both these batsmen dropped De Freitas on naught and Stewart dropped uh, really a sitter in the outfield. So that's proved expensive for New Zealand. They really could have kept England uh, under 200 if they'd taken those catches. Final delivery. And through for a single. So after 50 overs, England six for 203. 13 runs at that final over from Danny Morrison. The fate is a fine effort in the end. Good support from Stewart. So New Zealand will need 204 runs to win off 50 overs, a run rate of four. To New Zealand's reply, needing 204 to win, opening the batting for New Zealand that day at the Gabba were John Wright and Martin Crowe. It's a bottom edge and races away between first and second set to four. An awkward one there for Lamb on his left hand side. They have bounced just in front. It's a good shot. That's in the air. High, hard, and handsome. Through mid wicket. Just for a square leg. Good shot. New Zealand and none for 15. Straight down the ground, that's going to be four. Roar is on drive. Very elegant player, Martin Crowe. Stands up tall in delivering the blow. Keeps the head very still. Glorious stroke. Nothing worse if you're a fast bowler than have the batsman strike you down the ground, past the stumps. Almost touch of arrogance about that shot shot from a great player goes down through mid off this time quite time that as well it's running down the hill and it makes the boundary first the onside then the offside for Martin Crow. That's smashed away, full toss. He was going for the Yorker around about leg stump. Devon Malcolm has been brought into the attack from Mr. Vulture Street end, and he hasn't started very well. Oh, and that's going away to the boundary as well. Straight delivery, just short of a length, on leg stump. And uh, any decent batsman likes them in that area. And Martin Crow is very definitely a very decent batsman. Take that. Oh, and uh, that's a misfield. He's normally a brilliant Lewis in that field, and he's gone right over the top of that one. It's gone down to the boundary for four. Oh, that's a good shot. Short delivery there, pulled away. One bounce onto the dog track for four. Very good shot, this one. Dreadful delivery. I don't think uh, Mr. Gooch will be very pleased with that. Short and just outside leg stump. In fact, he's having a word with uh, Devon Markham now. Yes, Lewis uh, certainly will have to be given a go shortly. And that one's gone flying away down towards fine leg. Devon Malcolm sticking his foot out there, and uh, unfortunately, the ball bouncing over his foot. It wasn't too easy, actually. Yeah, a bit difficult for him to go diving away down there with those poles in the ground. But uh, having said that, he's not the best with his feet in the world. placed there and that's a pretty ordinary piece of fielding bowler not too thrilled with that at all Philip De Freitas 
Not pleased with John Morris. I don't know what happened there. Well, it's in John Wright's favourite position on his leg to push away quite firmly. John Morris, a little bit late getting down. Disappointed with himself and the bowler quite disgusted. England have got to step those. Must stop those in the field. That's a tremendous shot from Martin Crowe. Just two bounces into the fence. That's a nice way to get you going after drinks. Bowlers have to concentrate just as hard as batsmen. Get the ball on the line just outside off stump. Just outside off stump, but a bit too short. Seventh boundary for John Wright. One more than Martin Crowe. Beautiful placement. And that'll uh, bring up the 50 for John Wright. Just saved there by Devon Malcolm's boot from going into the boundary, but that's 50 for John Wright. A very fine innings. Real confidence booster for New Zealand. Great answer to the defeat after having the game almost by the scruff of the neck for the majority of their innings until Crow was out LBW at the SCG on Thursday night. A big appeal there for LBW and he's given him not to court behind and he's given him out. No doubt about the edge there. It was a spontaneous appeal from everyone there and of course up went the wing keeper, up went the bowler and they've broken this partnership at last and when the partnership between these two has been broken anything can happen there's the delivery it pitches and turns just a little bit and well taken that one by Stewart and I think he knew he was gone and I tell you what there's absolutely no doubt in the mind of the bowler caught behind of the bowling of Tufnell one for 109 Lewis is bowling from the Vulture Street end. Good positive uh, call there. Yes, is the call, and that brings up the 50 for Crow. Gooch not very happy about that. The fieldsman should have been saving the one there. He was on 49. He was going to look for the one. He took the one. He's now got 50, and it's one for 114. Jones on six. Crow 55 into the gap and that's down to the boundary for four a magnificent shot they run from Jones not a very clever delivery just a little bit short and uh, even although he has four men on the offside there's no one back and so all you've got to do is punch it into the gap and that's the end of that batting well outside the crease this is good from Crow's point of view once he lost right on Thursday night at the SCG, just lost his way a bit in terms of partners. Good bowling. Needs to keep rotating the strike. Give Crow as much as he can. Some of the youngsters got bogged down. They couldn't push the single. Consequently, the run rate uh, dropped back and applied extra pressure. But Jones, he's a good player. That's... Just what the captain ordered. That's out. No, it's not. Dear, dear. Gooch. Straight to him. That's the problem you've got when you're playing with a sore hand. You're obviously very conscious of it when the ball's hit at you. And he was perhaps trying to make sure that he got the ball in the left hand more than the right. As soon as you start doing that, they pop out. And then Tuffman's swept behind, really short hand or not, it was a sitter because it was a miss hit. And it went straight to him. And New Zealand put a few sitters down, so the trend is continuing. Away for four. He's really timed that to perfection. Full shot. One for 158. 
this will be a pretty satisfying performance for him because at 76 versus England at the SCG on Thursday night pretty disappointed to get out when he thought he could have won the game for New Zealand Another quick single loud calling Wicket down. Well, Graham Gooch has caught it, and uh, one can only imagine the thoughts going through his mind as that fiercely hit drive was going towards him. He wouldn't be able to get his injured hand out of the road. Just giving it a little examination now. But he's coming through today all right, which will be heartening for England in the midst of things that aren't all that heartening. And Martin Crowe, just when he had 100 in his sight, full firm hit, the ball goes straight to Graham Gooch, he hangs on to it. Great applause from his team, they'll be thrilled to bits. He's put them in a winning position, and New Zealand now 2 for 178. <laughs> He's given that something, the quickest bowler in the England side has just been smashed away through mid-wicket. Well, Latham's just whacked this with contempt. Straight over mid-on, into the outfield. That was a fiercely hit stroke. Two for 190. And that's the sort of thing Latham has been sent in to do. He's just been told to come in and blaze away as sensibly as he can and keep that run rate moving along. The normal course of events in a match where uh, the side batting second is going to win, and it's obvious they're going to, they just push the ball around for singles, but not here where they can get that run rate up. Very strong forearms and wrists. Hits straight through the line. Very correct, the technique. Well, that's a beautiful shot too. Going straight down the ground and then laying back on the short delivery. Way into the vacant area at mid-wicket and yet another boundary. That's the winning run. That's all they needed. Just a single will go on to the New Zealand total. And they've finished at 2 for 204. And that's good intelligent cricket from New Zealand. 